Well, Sophie and Gentry, to begin with, congratulations for in spite of all the roadblocks, the delays, and the challenges placed before you in these last months, here we are. And why are we here today? The answer is simply because of love. The love the two of you share with one another and the love that God has for you. And I'm feeling While Gentry may have asked you, Sophia, to marry him, it was God who created the two of you uniquely fit to be joined together, to be the perfect companions for one another. Of all the people out there in the world, it was the two of you that his God has called to be joined together as husband and wife. I love this. It took a lot of effort and patience to get here to our ceremony today. We had a delay of almost two months, and changes had to be made in plans to accommodate social distancing, masks, and other requirements brought on by the pandemic. This commitment, this perseverance, speaks volumes about the two of you, about the love you have for one another, and it really exemplifies the love that both Jesus and St. Paul talked about in our readings today. I, Gentry, take you, Sophia, to be my wife. I, Sophia, take you, Gentry, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And so now it is my honor and privilege to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Sophia and Gentry Miller. Over the years, I've enjoyed traveling around, watching Gent play sports, brought home a lot of trophies and medals, which made me pretty jealous. But uh, what was the coolest thing was one day he brought home something a little bit different, and it was a girl, and her name is Sophia. It was quickly clear to all of us that Sophia was going to play a pretty special role in Gent's life. The rest of our lives The rest of our lives The rest of our lives Oh, the rest of our lives Jen, I trust that you will have my daughter on a pedestal now until the day you die. And I'm going to tell you what, as a father, that makes me one proud dad. I was going to do this by memory, um, and I still might. But Soph only gave me about 45 minutes, so I've got to keep her clipping. If you'd raise your glass in a toast to this special couple, may you fall in love with each other again every morning. And may the rest of your years be the best of your years. We love you. Dance with me beneath the stars. Moonlight crashing on our 